Hello everyone, thank you for joining. I hope that you're safe and sound with your loved ones and you're taken care of. Now, I'm Mauro, I'm here at home, as most of you are, I suppose. And since we're all in this situation, I thought I would share a few exercises that can be done in a very little space and with no equipment at all, no partner. And it helped me so much with my dancing and I think will help you too. So, I will be uh, showing you this routine of around 10 minutes and I will upload one new video every day for this week building up from the most simple exercises today to a few more complicated ones and single leg balance exercises like this one by the end of the week. So if you'd like to follow along for this video please find a place of roughly one step width somewhere in your house and stay start without shoes as you can see here get comfortable clothes and let's start first thing we will do is to work on our ankles ankles are the, one of the most important parts of our dancing so we'll warm them up by putting our feet together and raising our right heel and stretching lightly by pressing lightly on our toes and then we will change and do the same to the left foot then we'll do the right foot again and the left foot again I'll show you from the side what I'm doing is raising my heel and pushing lightly down to start warming up a bit the foot I'll do it a couple more times please do it with me one and two and last time on the right and last time on the left good let's start with the first exercise we will put our feet shoulder wide we will have toes pointing forward will not open this way and we will have our toes pointing forward and the first thing we will do is to raise our heel stay up there for a few seconds and before falling down Lower your heels again and let's repeat. You don't have to follow with my pace. You can go with your own pace whenever you feel you're falling. Instead, control it and go down. And once again, up, stay up as much as possible and go down. I don't care so much about how high you go. I don't want, I don't need you to really stretch your ankle all that much. One centimeter is fine. What I care is that you know where you can go safely, okay? So please don't hurt yourself. And on that topic, please make sure that you don't bend out your knees and ankles. So please not, please avoid this kind of movement. This is not safe for your ankles nor for your knees. So try to avoid that. And let's go down again. Let's do it the last time. We go up. And for the last time, go down. Nice. With this done, we will start now on a single leg. We will go on the left leg, stretch our right to the side, keep your hips down. Okay? And now we will raise our left heel and go to the middle to the same position as before. Raise the left heel and we are in the middle. Same position as before. Now we lower it and go down to the left. Let's try it again. We go up and we go down on the left. Let's try it last time. We go up and we go down again on the left. Let's try it from the right. We start with closed feet. We stretch our left leg, keep the hip down. And now we raise our right heel and we go to the middle. Remember not to bend your ankle out and go back down to the right let's try it again we go up and down to the right let's try the last time we go up in the middle and down to the right let's combine it we will start from the left go to the middle and land on the right we stretch as before and we go up and in the middle and down to the right 
Now we go back up to the middle and down to the left. Let's try again. Up in the middle and down to the right. Last time, up to the middle and down to the left. For the next step, for the next progression, I will ask you to check where you're landing, okay? So what I mean by this is that we stretch, we go to the middle as before, we land on the right, but now I want you to close your feet and stretch again. And now check if before closing your feet, you have to move your position a bit. I'll show what I mean. If I go to the middle and I land somewhere here, it might look I'm on the right, like I'm the right, but before I can lift my left leg, I have to move just a little bit more so that this leg is free. So make sure that you land in a position where you don't have to move in order to lift the other leg. Okay, so we will go to the middle, to the right, close and open. Middle, left and close. That is very nice. We will make it a bit harder by going back and forth. I will show it from the side. What I will do is I stand on my right. I will stretch my left leg forward like this. Remember, don't go with the hips. Again, I will go to the middle. And now this is going to be much harder for the balance. Okay? And land by lowering my heel. Close, stretch. Go to the middle and land on the right again. Close, stretch. Remember, this is not a step and I don't care about how far you go with the leg, okay? This is a very, very small step if I want to use it. But what I care about is that you control the movement up and down. Let's do it one more time. We go up in the middle and we lower the front heel. We close, we stretch back, we go up in the middle and we lower our back heel. Let's do it the other way. I will start with my left and put my right leg forward, like so. And now I will raise my left heel and go down forward with the right. I will close and take a bit more space. There you are. And I go to the middle and I go back. I show you that I can close, check that I am really in axis and balanced, and I go to the middle and forward. Close, stretch, middle and back. Close, stretch and middle and forward. Last time, close, stretch and middle and back. So that were that was the first few exercises. We will end this session with steps. And for steps, for now, all I mean is that we will raise one heel and lower the other at the same time. Okay, so we'll start with the side step. I will start in the same way as the previous exercise. Stretch into the side, but instead of going up in the middle and lowering, I will do two movements together and my head will stay at the same level for the whole exercise. So I will move from one side to the other without going up and down. And I will control the speed of the entire movement throughout, okay? This is what gives us the option to do things slow and fast during our dance. Let's do it again. Stretch, and I raise my left heel, and I lower my right at the same time. Again, 
one goes up and the other goes down at the same time. Last time, there, and again, there. For the final exercise, we will do it again to the front. First with the left leg forward, I stand on the right, I stretch my left leg forward, again, not to the hips, and I go, raise one, lower the other, until I am in the final position. I stretch again, and I raise one, and I lower the other, until I am in the final position. Again, one goes up, the other goes down. Talking about the heels again. Stretch, one heel goes up, and the other goes down. Last time, I stretch forward, one heel goes up, the other heel goes down, and back for the last time, we go up with the left heel, and down with the right. Let's do it on the other leg, for the last time, right forward, left leg, to start, I stretch forward with the right, I raise my left heel, and I lower my right. Close back. Remember, I close to check whether I am really in axis or if I have to adjust my position. I go forward, and I know that I'm in axis. Okay? And there, last time, we go forward, close, and now the last time we go backwards and close. Now, thank you very much for following along. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it will be useful to you. Um, I will be releasing more videos like this, building up with more, more and more advanced exercises during the week, all focused on the ankles and lower legs. Later, I will do other series on other parts of the body that will help us control other parts of our dancing. If you like this video, of course, please like and subscribe. That will help us a lot. And if you have comments or questions, leave them down in the comments of this video. And if you um, would like to see more of this, let us know which topics you would enjoy. Thank you very much for being here, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.